Hello everyone, I'm Mimi Mae Dolan and you're very welcome to my channel. For those of you that are coming back to my channel, thank you so, so much. And for those of you who are new, thank you and please make sure to hit the subscribe button. Today's video, I have for you a full face of Charlotte Tilbury makeup. Now this is actually the finished look. I, I love it, I love the products. I kind of like, I talk about the products and my different reviews and stuff on them and what I think works and what doesn't work. And I have to say, I have really enjoyed filming this video. So not to bore you too much, <laughs> but just to say that if you like this video, please hit the like button and please make sure to subscribe and share this video. Oh, I guess I should give you some kind of background to this video. Basically, I, needed a lot of new makeup. I love makeup. I love the Charlotte Tilbury brand and I've been watching a lot of these trying a full face of Charlotte Tilbury, reviewing Char Charlotte Tilbury videos on YouTube and I've been loving them and I just thought I really want to do that. That'll be very very fun. I keep trying to record this intro and it keeps saying um, movie recording stopped, card is full because I have recorded all these YouTube videos and haven't edited them so I need to do that. But anyways, this is the final look. So if you're interested in knowing how I done that, then please continue watching and I hope you have fun watching this video. I'm so excited. So some of the products I have tested, the mascara, which is amazing. We'll talk about that soon. I have been using it a lot because it's just incredible. But we'll talk about each product as it comes. I have coffee, water, tied up my hair, ready to go. <laughs> Okay, so this is the box of makeup. It's funny, when you do get new makeup, you kind of like question what order to do things in. This is the Magic Away Liquid Concealer. As always, the Charlotte Tilbury packaging is expensive looking and beautiful and the colouring of it um, is just so, like you just know it's Charlotte Tilbury. Like this. Now, when I opened this, I was like dying to see the actual concealer. <laughs> kind of hard to open. Okay, this always takes me a little bit to open it. And I kept twirling and twirling and twirling and there was nothing coming for a very long time. So that's my, the very first impression with it was that I found it hard to actually get the concealer. I felt like I twisted this up a significant amount. I've used this about three times and you can see that it's quite pushed up. However, the last like three times I've used it, I haven't really pushed it up. So I guess maybe it's just that initial, you have to kind of push it up a lot. So I'm just gonna twirl that around and I'm basically just using this on my eyelids and around my eyebrows to, to draw on my eyebrows. Putting the concealer kind of on my eyelids um, and around. I have to say from what I've used of this, I love it. I actually really do um, love this concealer. I'm just taking a damp beauty blender just to rub this in. On the Charlotte Tilbury website, they're all eyebrow pencils. It doesn't work for me, my eyebrows are too fair. It's very obvious then that they are kind of drew on. So this is the kind of the only pro other product that's not Charlotte Tilbury that I'm going to be using and that's just to draw on my eyebrows. Okay, so yep, yeah, eyebrows on. <laughs> this I made a mistake with, but it's basically an under eye corrector, but I thought it was like a powder. I thought it was a setting powder. So just be careful when you're ordering things, make sure you read everything. It says, I don't know how I didn't know, because it says magic vanish under eye and face cheat for intense color correction. So the reason why I didn't just like, oh, it's a wrong product, I didn't want that, and send it back straight away was because I actually really do kind of need a color correction. And obviously I get really dark under eye circles, so I use the lovely gold little cases from Charlotte Tilbury. Like that, aren't they just beautiful? I feel like if you take them out of your makeup bag, they're just so oh, beautiful. This is in one fair, of course. Look at me, I'm so fair. It has a little mirror up there. I'm just gonna use my finger and basically I'm gonna just start with all the little places that I feel like could do with some color correction. I definitely couldn't wear it like that and go on like without foundation because it's obvious it's different to my skin does color correct for sure. I don't know if you can see but I'm having a little bit of like a red 
kind of breakout thing here where you kind of rub it around it is a lot more kind of creamier lighter and it kind of warms up a little bit i rubbed it in quite nicely and you can see it's got such a good finish it, it really is kind of correcting the color like it said a little bit under the eye i just feel like maybe if it was a little bit even paler that would be good for under my eyes but we'll just give it a go that's the difference in the two eyes that makes that makes a huge difference i think now there's still a little bit of purple there but that's a huge wow i totally underestimated this put on a little bit more to see if we see even more of a difference it's rubbing on really nicely yeah i think that's a huge color difference there wow i find it really hard to find something that kind of hides those dark circles especially for when i'm on stage i really want something to kind of get rid of that tired look that i always seem to have so that's amazing okay this is a like i'm really glad i ordered this product by accident really really impressed with that product put it on everywhere now very very happy with that product very impressed with that. that's definitely the best under eye concealer i've tried 100 percent i'm happy about that <laughs> next i'm going to move on to foundation so the foundation i went with is i i, I don't like the little test so you can kind of do a little test to find out what shade they recommend for you um, but also kind of what what one of their foundations they think would be best for you and what you like to wear This one is a light but boldable coverage. I love that it has SPF 15 in it as well I've been trying to do this thing where I wear SPF every single day. Okay, so it's like a little pot You can see I have handprints on it and um, again beautiful packaging as always and I've seen people kind of doing this thing where they rub the stick on their skin I'm really against that because I feel like if there's any kind of um, bacteria on your face then you're putting it on the stick and then you're putting it in your foundation. So then I'm like, do I just put it on the back of my hand? But then is it that the same principle? But then I wash my hands a lot. So this is how I've reasoned with that. So I kind of wish it was a pump. I, I kind of initially was like, does this come off? Is there a pump in there? But it's not. So that's my only kind of thing. I, I wish it was maybe a pump foundation. Possibly can get pumps for it. So I'm just gonna put some on my hand, a chunk of it, and put it here. So you can see the color works really well for me. Isn't that lovely? So you can see all kind of the kind of inconsistency with color and then not on this side. Um, I definitely think this will go on so well with your fingers. I do feel like you kind of have to take a decent amount out of the pot. Isn't that great? It's just such a lovely consistency. And like I said, I feel like you can still kind of see my face, my own skin kind of shining through. First impressions of today, this is my first time using this foundation properly. I love it already. Just how it's going on, I just feel like it, it's almost got a matte finish. I'm putting like that much at a time on my hand. I can see how it's foldable. I think I definitely feel like you can fold it without making it like cake. I also like how it hasn't made the magic away concealer kind of cake underneath it. So that's the finished foundation product. I absolutely love it, like 100% love it. So foundation, oh, I keep doing that. I drop things, I kick things. I have a big broken foot boot, so that's why I keep kicking things. Okay, fine, sorry, someone came in and I had to pause the video. Yeah, so it's the Rose Gold Eyes to Mesmerize. So it's just like the little pot and you can see how pretty the rose gold is. Oh yeah, I was saying. I have a lot of rose gold jewelry, so I feel like this will really complement it. So I'm going to actually, I'm gonna put my finger in it <laughs> and just pop it on across my eyelid. The color is amazing. I also feel like this could be a good color for my eye color. Eye color is kind of greeny blue. It's like green and then it goes out to blue. I do have a nice big fluffy brush. Again, from anything I've read or whatever, this is also like boldable. 
so you can add more. I just have like a smaller little brush. I'm going to use it to put this underneath. So I just dip the brush in and I'm just going to put it underneath. I love creamy textures rather than powders. It's very rich and creamy and feels like luxurious. Okay, I think it's beautiful. Good for my eye color, but I feel like even on brown eyes, oh wow, it'd be so coppery and bringing out those gorgeous browns. On blue, if you like my sister's bright blue eyes, this would work really well. For a really long time, I have wanted a brown eye powder pencil because black eyeliner can be quite harsh on me sometimes and um, I would use it a lot for stage because I would use fake eyelashes or something and it doesn't look too bad but I really wanted a good brown one so this one is the classic eye powder pencil in classic brown I'm just gonna draw really close to my lash line I'm gonna take it all the way in. This is lovely and creamy. Kind of just gliding on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow my bottom lash line up. Just... So what I like about this is that it's like light enough that if you make a mistake, I feel like it's it's fine. <laughs> Cause I kind of made some mistakes there with it, but it's really quite fine. And people, something with like an edge and that, that these like creamy eyeliners they line it up blend it smoky look rather than like a harsh line and i quite like that as far as color is concerned i really do love this and um, i think this though would be a product i need to get used to like practicing with I'm not sure I know how to use it to its best potential, but it is lovely and creamy and smoky. Mascara is incredible. This is the best mascara I have ever tried. I mentioned it briefly. I tested it when it came and I haven't stopped using it. I kept saying I have to wait until I film the video to give them like first impressions, but it's too good. It's just, it is the best. So it's the Pillow Talk push up lashes out of all the mascaras that I've used ever this one had the like that initial like oh, this product is amazing so yeah I am very excited about it it's just super black and um, is the color of it the one looks like this I think what they say to do is use a flat side and then use the brushes whatever they mean by that where did those lashes come from? It doesn't make them clumpy, which I love. Look at that. That's insane. This gives me like the appearance of having long eyelashes. Can you see <laughs> the difference? Wait, so I love keeping my lower eyelash line without mascara on, but I saw someone do this recently where they just put a little bit of mascara in the middle of their eye. So I've been giving it a go. So instead of doing mascara all over your bottom lash line, you just do it in the middle apparently it opens up your eye i also love too like it doesn't have like you know how sometimes the one comes out and then all the mascara just come like it stays in that doesn't happen oh it's so good it's just oh it's amazing you use the magic away again and um, liquid concealer it's too fair I just want to use it underneath my eyes because I love brightening up that under eye area. I think it gives more dimension to the face. It helps the eyeshadow and stuff pop. Um, it's just kind of what I what I always do. I always use like a lighter concealer underneath my eyes. I was taught it to try and help cover up the dark circles under my eyes and stuff. But I'm very happy with the Magic Away, or what was it, the Magic Under Eye Corrector. That has definitely, like I'm definitely loving that. But yeah, I'm gonna do this too. I love how it's not lifting the foundation and other products. I feel like it's just working. And then just maybe a little bit on my nose. <laughs> and I'm just gonna blend this in. It just blends so easily in comparison to 
the thicker products I've been using. So light and easy but kind of does exactly what you need it to do. So can you see what I mean about how it's made that kind of eyeshadow pop? Great, that was it's so easy blended. I think it's done exactly what I wanted. I wanted to brighten up the under eye area. Starting to finally really get rid of those purple under eyes. And um, yeah, I love it. I love how it, my foundation hasn't caked, you know? Like, this is a lot more product than what I'm used to. I have the under eye corrector, foundation on top, and this concealer on top and I avoid that because I feel like it's going to make everything cake but I feel like it really hasn't done that. It's just all blended really well. I ordered the airbrush bronzer. I ordered it in fair. I wanted to order it in medium, it was sold out and I thought fair is going to work for me and um, I'm very fair. The foundation colour I'm using is fair and um, concealers are fair. If it doesn't work with that foundation, it'll work whenever I'm not wearing foundation, which it definitely will. It might be a little bit too fair for this kind of look. I'll show you what it looks like. So it is, it almost looks like, to me it looks like a setting powder. But I'm gonna come back to that because what I forgot is that the blush is like creamy based, so it's good for me to put that on anyways before I put on powder. Sure. Oh, I love it. Again, it's kind of like the mascara. I have been very tempted to be using it, even though this video hasn't been recorded. It is the Lip and Cheek Glow um, from the Pillow Talk kind of collection and um, Color of Dreams. I love creamy products. I'm very excited about this. It is really, really beautiful. So what I do is I just put my finger in and I literally put a lot of it basically. Well, I guess that's not a lot. I put a good decent amount. I am not afraid to use blusher at all. I put blusher on my nose, I put in the center of my face. I like putting it in on my nose because I naturally get sun there and I just think it's more realistic. I'm going to end with my fingers and then going over it with the beauty blender which works really well. I love this color. It almost does the bronzer bit as well as the blusher bit. I love it. Um, it is really kind of the colour of dreams. It's just, to me I just feel like it's the perfect um, blusher colour. Especially now that we're coming into like autumn and I tried to wear like an autumn-y kind of colour. I feel like it's, uh, it's just autumn vibes or something. And I'm actually going to put some on my lips as well. Just so you can see what it does on your lips. It's beautiful. It's like, you, it's like, you know, whenever you're doing that no makeup makeup look, like I feel like this is the color of my lips, just like darker, better. So I love it. Like I would happily not put on any lipstick. Now. I would happily leave my makeup like this. I just feel like that blusher is that powerful. No, I feel like the eyeshadow color, the blush and the lip, obviously it's the same as the blush, really match well. Okay, so yeah, like I said, would happily finish my makeup like this. What I'm gonna do is because I, I just wanna give this a good test that it deserves. I'm gonna see how it works as a bronzer with the way my makeup is today. Um, and then just use a setting powder that I have. Look at that big mirror. Isn't it amazing? Like you could do, do your makeup so easily with that. Okay, so I'm just taking a little brush just to see. is bronzing me up a bit. Yeah, it definitely is adding something. Maybe it's like very, very natural. It is quite close to the foundation colour. Yeah, do you know what? It's definitely bronzing me up and um, more than I expected it to. I almost do like a three, so I go like one. That's the, that's what I follow. I would be happy not to have to put on a darker bronzer, but I don't know if that's just because I'm so happy with the blusher. I like it. I will definitely be using it and I will 100% be using it whenever I'm paler than this. It feels amazing. Like it's just gliding on my face and the packaging is unbelievable. 
I've just taken down my hair there. Okay, so this isn't a product that's new to me, but I love it and I recommend it. It's definitely my favorite lipstick. I spoke earlier about how I was gifted a Charlotte Tilbury um, product and I fell in love with the brand. And this is the product. It is the Pillow Talk lipstick. This is my second or third, I'm gonna say, definitely second um, round of this lipstick. And you can see that it is very loved. <laughs> I have the lip pencil here. So sorry, this is Pillow Talk. Hence why I probably love the blusher and stuff too. I just, I could, as a redhead, I could never find a nude that I loved ever. I just, there was, it just didn't exist for me. <laughs> a nude lipstick, I, I just couldn't find something that suited my skin tone and my hair color and my eye color and all the rest. However, I just find this works so well and anyone that I know who is of all different kinds of like, um, skin colors, hair colors, eye colors, we all seem to love it, anyone that I know who's tried it. So I'm gonna put that on <laughs> to finish off this Charlotte Tilbury look. So that is basically the finished look. I have I haven't used a setting powder yet, but I only have the Charlotte Tilbury stuff sitting here. So I'll just grab a setting powder and set it just in case it makes a difference on camera. So this is my Laura Mercier setting translucent powder. That's it. That is the finished makeup look. I have to say, I like I really, really love it. I, I actually really do. Like I feel like I'll be doing this look on myself a lot more often. The magic vanish for under eye and face cheat for intense color correction. I, I, it's very much impressed me. The Magic Away Concealer has impressed me. The Pillow Talk Blusher. Those, oh no, yeah, the mascara. <laughs> the mascara, the blusher, and the color corrector are possibly the three products that I'm most impressed with and just like blown away by. I could happily remove everything from my makeup um, collection right now and just focus on those products because I just feel like it's definitely a look that I love and will want to continue to wear. So I'm just about to take off my makeup and I just remembered that I had said I would kind of show what it looks like at the end of the day. So I have not touched this, I've not topped it up. There's a little bit of like, um, like kind of like my mascara has rubbed off the bottom of my eye. That would have been so easily fixed with like concealer. So, sorry, I was just in the bathroom because someone needed to use that shower. But yes, apart from that, like I would have just needed to like kind of use a beauty blender. I don't even think it's bad now when I see it in this light. So, it stayed on so well. Yeah, I think it's like great. Um, it stayed on for about, this is it for about six hours, I feel like. So, it done really well without me touching it up at all. I didn't use much setting powder and I didn't use any setting spray. So I highly recommend the foundation and the concealers absolutely for staying in place. Thank you so, so much uh, for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I was probably very chatty. Um, just a little update on basically why I haven't been posting videos. Something kind of personal was happening in my family. It was taking up a lot of my time. I broke my foot, which kind of left it really difficult for me when I was on crutches to like set up the camera and set up the lights and get all my equipment anything I needed in front of me and I just I attempted it a couple of days and I was just finding it really really hard but now that I'm off the crutches I find it easier and want to produce a lot of content and um, to all like 1500 plus subscribers that I have Thank you so, so much. One of my goals was to reach um, 4,000 watch hours by the end of the year. And I am currently about 3,700, which has really shocked me. Um, so basically, thank you so, so much for watching, liking, subscribing. Please continue to do so. You've no idea how much this is gonna help me grow this channel and connect with you even more. If there's anything you really, really want to see from me, please leave it in the comments below. Feel free to ask me 
anything dancing related, makeup related, fashion related, fitness related, health related, MMA related, whatever it might be, um, please, um, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to get all my future videos. And thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. I actually didn't really have any bloopers in this video. That's so good. Oh, I probably did. I didn't drop anything. Alex, can you keep it down a bit?